Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Lewis from Lewis's Geeks World. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, WDS tool. This is a, a nice little tool that, that helps you to have Windows 10 uh, stop spying on you. So we're going to go ahead and download it. We're going to go ahead and scan it. You don't have to install it because it's portable. So, okay, just uh, open up your, your browser there. All right, and type in the following WDS tool Windows, the version that you're using. Stop spying. And there we go. This is the uh, website where I've downloaded before, and uh, this is actually a really safe web um, website to go ahead and get a few tools from you know you can also download um, antiviruses and other tools so go ahead and click on that particular link right there and you can get go ahead and click one of the servers there you know the first one then you just wait a few seconds and it's gonna go ahead and start downloading okay there we go we have it here go ahead and double click it alright and this is it right here okay before we go ahead and scan this go ahead right here at the bottom left hand side on the search box and type in restore because every time you go ahead and scan a tool like this it's always good to go ahead and create a restore point you know just in case something happens with your um, operating system you always want to go ahead and go back to that and just uh, restore like if nothing happens so right here where it says local disk go ahead and click on it then right here click on configure go ahead and click where it says turn on system protection and, you know just give it I don't know maybe 5% or so less than that we'll go ahead and just give it 2% which in my case it's gonna be about 18 gigs you know that's that's more than enough so you know depending on all the stuff that you have and you, you know the the size of your hard drive for your computer that's that's what you want to go ahead and put so just go ahead and put a uh, click on apply after that and okay then you can go ahead and create one and just you can go ahead and, and name it anything. I'm going to go ahead and put Windows 10 Spined uh, WDS tool. And it's creating. And it'll take a few, maybe approximately around 10 15 30 seconds or so then right after the um, the restore point is created it's fully done We'll go ahead and uh, get this ready right over here. The WDS tool here. Right after that's done, you know, we can go ahead and uh, in the meantime, what well, that's creating, you know, it's got some uh, tools right here. You know, like the tools you can go ahead and disable your Windows update directly from here. There we go. That's done right there. So just go ahead and click close. All right. So 
we have a a system restart point already so in case something happens you can go ahead and click uh, restore and then just go ahead and pick that particular rest restoration point that you created just go back to that and you'll be all set so you know just kind of taking a look here at the uh, options that we have here you have the tools option where you can disable your windows update or enable it or enable your windows defender you have a couple of uh, there we go settings you know we've already created the restoration part uh, delete key logger uh, you know that's gonna go ahead and get done automatically once we run this particular tool and then we'll go ahead and general just go ahead and click right here destroy windows spine now then just give it a little bit of time and as you can see it's already deleting a couple of uh, the settings there that were enabled see it's deleting the keylogger it's has also disabled Cartana and it's going through a, a few more settings there so it does take a this particular tool you know once it's done it's gonna take some time because you know it's got to go through all of the settings you know unfortunately Windows 10 does have a few settings that uh, that come by default so you know you just let it run you know it's already success it's showing that it's successfully disabled a few tasks there so you know just let it do its thing and uh, you know just let it run it's it's going through the wow it does have a lot of a lot of settings actually where it's going through just uh, you know just let it run and uh, you should be all set once it's done after that you it's probably gonna ask you to restart the computer so we'll go ahead and do so once it's done and uh, it goes through a few firewall rules as well it, it has actually disabled you know Cartana and uh, a few other settings there so we're just we're still waiting here it's still it's still going through you have to be patient here it takes it takes approximately maybe a couple minutes or so so it's it's been running approximately about a minute minute and a half or two minutes or so so it should be done here shortly so you just kind of be patient Okay, so it's, it's taking a little bit more than usual, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and uh, we'll be back once it's done, okay? Okay, there we go. So, it's finally done scanning. So, it's asking us if we want to go ahead and restart the, the system now, or, or no. So, pretty much right after you go ahead and restart the system... The only thing that you're pretty much going to go ahead and check, it's you can go back to the tools right here. I'm sorry, to the settings option. And you you are pretty much going to see that, you know, that the scan has actually deleted, you know, your keylogger, um, you know, and a few other settings there. So, okay, guys, so I already restarted the computer. So, we're going to go ahead and check the... Uh, the settings that uh, the uh, WDS2 has actually disabled. So you go ahead and uh, 
I have mine right here on my desktop so you just go ahead and execute it once again and there we go this is uh this is this tool right here the one we've been working on so you go back to your settings option and there we go as you can remember all these options right here were turned off now it's uh they're all turned on because you know they've already the tool has actually completed the scan and has actually disabled a lot of the settings that were enabled when we first installed the um, operating system so there you have it that's pretty much it i'll go ahead and put the link on the description where you can go ahead and uh, download this particular tool it's a nice tool to have and uh, once you go ahead and maybe do a clean star of the operating system once you have all of your programs or even before you have all of your software go ahead and scan this particular tool you should be all set because uh i don't know why windows 10 it's doing this but uh you know th apparently they have some legal reasons why they do it and uh so but i'm not going to get into all that so that's it that's pretty much it for this video and uh pretty straightforward you download the tool you scan it it's going to take a couple minutes or so and uh you know before you do this go ahead and uh create the you know your restore point where you want to go ahead and go back to just in case something happens or some setting gets destroyed there along the way so you should be all set after this so thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll see you on the next video thanks bye bye